morning. This is Arnie Waters here at Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts. A very merry Monday to you. <clears throat> Hope you had a pleasant and safe weekend. Gold trading at 1775, 1774. Expecting gold to cross that 1800 barrier anytime soon. Remember, the real situation, as we've been pointing out to you for months, is not Greece, but Italy and Spain. <coughs> Unless the Italians, who may or may not be serious about changing their government and may or may not be serious about uh, the impact of their of these problems on their economy uh, if unless they get serious about solving their problems uh, they're a much bigger problem than Greece as we've repeated to you on a number of occasions the eurozone does not have the money in any shape or form to solve the Italian problem it's quite interesting how we're seeing northern frugality uh, cast against Mediterranean uh, laissez-faire uh, as this process proceeds along. So uh, we're just reminding you that gold should be trading about 1800. This has primarily to do with economics. Uh, naysayers believe gold has a lot to do with emotion. The facts are there's a lot wrong with the world and there's a lot more going to be wrong before great things start happening. I remind you, America is the best country in the whole world, and we're going to do just fine. We're going to have some hard years, but we're going to do just fine. Uh, one of the signs that we are going to do just fine is that the Chinese elites, elites, that means the billionaires, the centimillionaires, Chinese uh, Communist Party officials are starting to offshore themselves. <clears throat> in other words, they're starting to buy expensive properties in other parts of the world, particularly the United States, um, that they believe are going to be safe when the revolution comes in China. Um, the revolution seems to come uh, every uh, few decades because the Chinese communist totalitarian government is doomed to fail, just as the Russian model is doomed to fail and has failed before and will continue to fail, because you cannot have um, people making money and expect it, them to be happy with having no political rights or political power. One of the consequences in China, of course, is that corruption is rife. And uh, uh, astute Chinese observers, of which I'm not one, uh, are, are really believe that corruption is now worse than it was before the last revolution in 1989, the last uprising in 1989. Uh, they also believe that there has been no political reform. So people who are really rich are not going to tolerate wondering whether or not their food is safe. They're not going to tolerate a pattern of corruption that leads to awful buildings, excuse me, awful construction codes, uh, buildings collapsing. Uh, the environment is absolutely horrible. The air is unbreathable in most of China. Um, and that, uh, you know, there are massive traffic jams. Uh, throughout the country. We add to this, by the government's own count, there have been 120,000 political incidents since February. Uh, it gives you a sign of the deep difficulty the Chinese communists face in um, uh, maintaining uh, control of such a gigantic country with a relatively small number of uh, police. And uh, so we're encouraging you to be aware that the Chinese ruling class is planning to flee. This being so, we can only uh, suspect that they know things that we're not even aware of, and that this is a sign that the whole theory that China is going to replace the United States is, as we have often said, bunk. Now, another point of concern with the United States economy, and we point this kind of thing out, uh, mainly to show that our theory that things are not yet getting better uh, is solid is that the jumbo mortgage index, the Primex, that is mortgages above $500,000, is showing an 18% delinquency rate. And while that means that over 80% of people are current on their mortgage, more than 50%, or in other words, 40% in gross numbers of the people who have jumbo mortgages uh, now owe more money than their house is worth. 50% in other words, 40% of the total of uh, jumbo mortgages now owe more money than their house is worth. And until this kind of uh, 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 price inequity 
is repaired uh, by readjustment in total prices, it would be very difficult for people to perceive how to get out of the current crisis. Remember, even uh, the upper middle class who populate the American zone uh, like to have the feeling that if they want a hundred or two hundred thousand dollars, they just get a new home equity line. Well, that's not true for a substantial number of people anymore. So between the 40% that are underwater and this 18% that are delinquent, that means that almost 60% of uh, mortgages in the jumbo category are troubled. So this is Arnie Waters. Keep buying gold. Gold's going to go up. We're now seeing 2000 easily before the end of the year. Uh, we think the Italian situation is going to get much worse before it gets better. We also believe this is another sign that the Europeans are just not serious about solving these problems. So this is Arnie Waters. We're looking at those ice flows. That means we got a shot at making money. Have a great day. Keep swinging.